Hello, my little angels. It's Miss Nancy spending our special time together. Do you know what happened this last week? I really wish you were here to answer all my questions. Well, it went from summer to autumn or fall. Now, it maybe doesn't feel like it outside, but the calendar says that on September 22nd was our first full day of autumn, or fall or autumn. So, you know what happens then at this time of year? The trees, their leaves change colors, pretty colors, red and orange and yellow. It's so pretty. And then after they turn colors, what do they do? They fall off and they fall, fall to the ground, don't they? And I bet you like to rake them in big piles and jump in them, don't you? I know I did when I was a kid. But sometimes, especially if you have a lot of trees and big trees in your yard, your parents might say, do you think you could help us rake the leaves and put them in big bags? That might not be as fun, right, for you? But I'm sure that at some time you might be asked to rake some leaves and help out. Well, this morning, I'm going to tell you a story about a father who had two sons and their names were John and William. And one day, the dad walked into John's room and found him building a model airplane. John, he said, we had a lot of wind last night and there are leaves scattered all over the yard. Would you please rake the leaves and put them in these trash bags? I bet they were big trash bags too. And he says, oh, Dad, I don't have time to rake the leaves. I'm working on this model airplane and I really want to finish it today, John answered. So his father turned and left the room and went to look for the other brother, William. He found William watching TV. William, there are a lot of leaves in the yard. Would you please rake the leaves and put them in these ba bags? Dad asked. Sure, I'd be glad to, William answered. Great, said Dad. I'll leave the rake and the trash bags in the yard. Well, after his dad left, John began to think about what his dad asked him to do. I can rake the leaves and still have plenty of time to finish my model airplane later, John thought to himself. He went outside and began raking leaves. Well, when the dad returned home, he saw John raking leaves. Where is William? Dad asked. I don't know. The last time I saw him, he was watching TV, John replied. Well, when Dad went into the house, guess what he saw? There sat William, still watching TV. I wonder, which of these two sons pleased his father? John, who said he wouldn't rake the leaves, but he did, or William, who said he would rake the leaves, but didn't. In our Bible story today, Jesus told a story that was similar to this to show how different people obey what God has called them to do. In Jesus' parable of two sons, remember parables a story, the father asked both sons, to go and work in his vineyard. Now a vineyard is a place where they grow grapes. Just as the two boys in my story, one son answered no, but went and worked. The other son answered yes and did not go. In telling the story, Jesus wanted us to realize that what we do 
is more important than what we say we will do. I'm going to say that again. And I always say that even about, about uh, adults. You can say one thing, but if you don't do it, then you're not following through with something. In telling the story, Jesus wants us to real, realize that what we do is more important than what we say we'll do. Jesus wants us to answer, answer yes when he tells us to love one another. But what he really wants is for us to love one another. Jesus wants us to answer yes when he says, follow me. But what he really wants is for, for us to follow him. That's the kind of child I want to be. Isn't that the kind of child, God, of God, you want to be? Let us pray. Father, sometimes we say yes, but our actions say no. Help us to be faithful to do what you have called us to do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Thanks for your time. We'll see you again next week.